I say, Reynolds, what's this I hear about the Army being interested in this project you're lobbying for? Well, it's not for publication, but they're planning to build an ammunition dump near the dam. I thought they were spending all that money just to help out a handful of farmers. <laughs> <laughs> and when I mentioned to the committee that more than 50,000 troops were stationed within a mile of the depot, they immediately increased the appropriation by a half a million dollars. 50,000 troops. 50,000 troops. Well, don't forget, Mr. Hanlon, all of our shipyards are not located on the coast. I don't think I understand. Well, I don't believe it or not. We have four shipways on the lakes. They're turning out an average of a ship a month. That explains a lot of things. With your influence in Washington, why don't you get a bill passed to increase the old age pension for Glamour Girl? <laughs> <laughs> well, now listen here, Gilly. We're not following this precarious occupation for uh, love. What our friend is trying to say is that you want to organize, start a revolving fund, and you'll be able to speak the language that he understands. <laughs> right? <That's> right. <laughs> now that you mention it, it is an ideal location for an air base. The enemy could never spot us in the air, and it's out of the range of the naval guns. It's perfect. Charming. Coffee is served for now. Oh, oh coffee. Well, 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 come on. Wait for me, Blondie. Gentlemen, if you ask me, I would say this has been a most successful day. Well, it has for me. Now I can postpone that strike until the project has eaten up more of the appropriation. <laughs> but, gentlemen, since war has been declared, we've learned one lesson. We must proceed cautiously. I think we should make plans to slip into some neutral country before the Intelligence Bureau gets after us. Perhaps when the war hysteria dies down, they will become more lax. These Americans are like children. They forget quickly the fire that burnt their fingers. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, Jim, you've actually found a very efficient method of prosecuting our war of nerves. No, no, no. I'm not going to accept all credit. Gentlemen, have insisted we could destroy more ammunition, friends, before we have to leave. Yeah. That last operation of yours, carried out with such finesse, you... No, thank you. I may be detained here for some time. Oh, uh, are you going back to Cleveland tonight, Kenny? No, I'm staying over for a couple of days. Fine. Stop into my office tomorrow morning. A gentleman patient to see you, sir.